Good morning, everybody. How are you? It is Wednesday. I um, have to get used to doing my vlogs starting from Wednesday now because they end on Tuesday. So hello from Wednesday, not Monday. Um, I am ready. I'm just waiting for Lizzie to knock on for me, to call for me, uh, like we're 12 again. Um, we're going to a breakfast for our friend who is um, launching a jewellery collection with a brand called By Alona and her name is Hannah Lewis. She's very cool and very stylish. So we're going to go and celebrate with her this morning. It's half eight, but luckily for me, it's 10 minutes around the corner, so we're fine. Um, and went to a pub quiz last night, did really well in the first round. I may or may not have thought that the Harry Potter platform was platform seven and three quarters. And then everyone was obviously hysterical about that. I wasn't even drinking. I was like, okay, I was really certain that it was seven and three quarters. And they were like, give me that paper back right now. <laughs> but then we left after the second round because we did so terribly and we we're all sore losers. So that was it. Um, but yes, all good in this end. I hope that you guys are all really well as well. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing really quickly. Uh, Cause I said I would this week. Okay, well, it's not going to be super helpful because this is a vintage shirt that I got in Costa Rica that I can't take off, can't stop wearing it. It's so nice. Reminds me of like a grungy skateboarder and maybe that's the aesthetic that I'm going for these days. And then I've got some amazing free people jeans on that are like such a good length. Pretty wide leg, but not like ridiculously so. So I'm really happy with those. I can link them because they're just so good. They've got like a little extra pocket here as well. Nope, there, like a little extra cool pocket. Um, and I'm just going to put my... Chanel ballet flats on and my coat. I'll be back when I'm ready, ready. Okay, I'm ready. So we've got my half boy leather jacket on with like a shearling collar. That's detachable as well. It's just my favorite coat. Can, and cause it's also got this like inner thing that I showed you last time, just keeps me so warm. So jeans and my Chanel ballet pumps. And then this amazing vintage Dior bag that I got from Vinted from working with them um, to showcase their new like VIP section, like the authentication process to make sure things are authentic. I love it. It's like just black painting and it's got little Dior bit on the back there, on the side. So I'm ready. Elizabeth's at the top of the road. She's not calling for me. She's just making me come out instead. So yeah, but I'll take you along to this breakfast this morning because it'll be lovely. So, so nice. So cool. It's good. I like this little like font. Uh, Who's here? This is Megs. You all, surely you all know. Me and Meg's have been friends for about... Ten? I want to say ten years, a decade. Oh my God. <laughs> She's come to visit me in London and we're going to have some lunch now in Market Cafe where I always love to come. Hello everyone. I hope you've had a really, really nice day today. I've had such a nice day. It's been very, very social. I've seen lots of my friends and I've really needed it. It's been really gorgeous. And I'm about to see a final friend now who got engaged recently whilst I was in Costa Rica. So I'm gonna take her some tea um, and just a big fuss because she's not one for fuss and she didn't tell me on purpose. She left it ages before she told me. She just sent me a picture of a ring and I was like, sorry, what? Um, so yeah, I am going into town now. We're gonna go for a really nice Italian. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm wearing. I've got this beautiful shirt on from Arquette, which I love. I ordered it to take away to Costa Rica with me because it's so good for over bikinis and I just love it. So I'd like, I've whipped it on straight away. Just a little perfect vest from Free People, which I love so much that I'll link and I'll link the shirt as well. And then I've just been and bought some new vintage Levi's because um, I just, I didn't have any that like are the proper length for like a ballet pump. And these are perfect. So yeah, I wear these a lot in the summer and stuff with vest tops and things. So I thought it was a good thing. And it was like, they were like 60 quid. So vintage jeans forever. And I think that's it. I've got my vintage Dior bag on again, which I love. And obviously a coat I'm gonna take because it's absolutely freezing today. I've not been warm once. So that's it. And I hope you have a nice evening. I think I've done a good job of vlogging today, if I don't say so myself. And I'll speak to you later. Hello guys from Tweak East. I'm back with lovely Rosie here, who's the founder. Um, we've just done a top up of my masseter Botox for my headaches because it was four months now, isn't it, since I've had it done. And I could feel the strength of my masseter muscles coming back and some headaches and some aching. So it was like the perfect time to come back and get it topped up. So we've done that and I should be all right and headache free again for another four months, but 
if you are in London, and especially East London, you need to come see Rosie for anything like that because she's amazing. And the aftercare is good even when I panicked about stuff, <laughs> which was not worth panicking about, but she was just brilliant. And yeah, so um, come and see her if, and ask any questions that you need to. Hi everyone. It's Thursday today. I've been up and out for a meeting this morning and then came back and had a call about Marnie's, which is really good. Everything's going so beautifully. Like I just couldn't be happier. It's just so much, so much joy in it all, which is just what you want when you're running a business. Really, it doesn't I don't want it to be draining. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. It's hard, but it's good. It's really, really fun. And I'm just doing things like, like admin moving house things now. So I've just made a brew, and I'm gonna just start. I've got loads of boxes, so I'm just gonna start putting a few things in, even if it's a couple of boxes of books, as long as I've made a start, I'll feel better about it, I think. I've got some bubble wrap and bits like that arriving later, so I can really try and break the back of it. So it's just, I just don't want to come back from Costa Rica and have to pack up and move all at once. So I'm going to book some removals people today as well. For my beloved sofa, my mirror, my bed, coffee table, all the big bits like that. Uh, everything else is fine. Um, yeah that's it i've got a couple of events to go to actually today tbc on whether i'm gonna go i'm feeling tired but good just like i actually just want a night to myself um one of them granted is very local so i might just pop in to do that so i'll see but yeah um whenever i have this masseter botox done for my headaches i it, like gives me a bit of a headache it's a bit achy for like a day two two maximum days um you can't do any exercise for 24 hours and yeah, you just have to kind of take it a bit easy, really, which is absolutely fine by me. Um, and yeah, that's it, really. Like, honestly, couldn't recommend Rosie enough. I know I like, spoke to you when I was there in front of her and everything, but she's just so lovely. And, you know, if you're having anything like that done, where it's like to do with your health, and for me, it's like migraines, I ask a lot of questions and I'm like, how's this going to feel? What's going to happen after? And she was just so lovely after it, after I had it, because I was still really achy and... Um, at the day after I had it done, I was like, is this normal? Is this okay? And she had told me, I was like, it feels like this. Is this all right? She's like, yep, totally fine. Here's my number. She was just so cool about it all and really lovely. So yeah, um, I'll just continue to go back every four months to get these headaches under control. Um, but it's so funny how much it helped because the it's been like three days of it starting to wear off and it's like my jaw's clicking again it's feeling really achy and then the headache travels up from like my masseter joint all the way into my head here and I get loads of tension so that she actually does Botox here in the jaw in the masseter muscle and at the top here because it's all connected um so it's like in your scalp line there um to, so it's all all kind of like one muscle so yes that's me for today I think I will go out probably later just to pop my head in to support um my friends and the brands and stuff but just gonna have a couple of hours doing some house admin, I think, like changing bills over and stuff like that. It's literally the worst job about it all, isn't it? Um, I can't complain because I'm moving to somewhere very lovely and very lucky, but no one likes admin, especially not me. <laughs> <laughs> everybody i'm back from my little outing i went to see the girls at varg pr who look after pilgrim i always like to support like my friends in the industry and i love those girls so much um and pilgrim do lovely lovely jewelry so i went to say hi um and came back i was supposed to go to something else but i am wiped out and i'm just gonna like look at the state of me oh my god i need to go to sleep i keep staying up late reading all my spiritual books <laughs> So it's for good reason that I'm tired, at least. Um, and I just went to buy some fruit to make a smoothie and some bits and bobs like that. But I also bought a small, tiny Easter egg that's in the fridge. So I'm going to eat that after. I'm going to... I don't know what to do first. I might eat, bath, Easter egg, watch the Vampire Diaries. I've steamed stuff I'm shooting in the morning. So I've steamed all the stuff that I need to shoot. I need to pull one more look together for that. Um, and then I've got such a nice afternoon, me and one of my friends who works in PR, um, she's been on a very healing spiritual journey as well. She had like a sabbatical at work and she went, um, traveling to Guatemala and all of kind of that side of the world, close, close to Costa Rica, but not Costa Rica. 
And um, so we're going to do ice bath and sauna together tomorrow and then go for lunch and have a big debrief about everything. So I'm really excited. But I need to shoot for a few hours in the morning with my photographer and then go and do that. And then I need to like go to Westfield. I need to buy a new phone case. Boring. Um, and also some travel travel cosmetics things because i'm sick of carrying full-size shower gels and toothpaste and moisturizers around with me i swear that's all my um that's all my weight limit is whenever i go anywhere is literally cosmetics it's out of control it's like three huge bags full of stuff and, and I, i'm like fa quite fuss free but i just you never know when you might need a certain face mask for a certain type of skin like a breakout or you've got a bit sunburnt or it's dry um you just never know. So yeah, I'm going to get some stuff so I can decant it and like actually be a grown up about it. And that's it. That was a lot of information. I will take you along tomorrow as well. Mm. But for now, I'm going to get some food, sit in my trackies and then have a bath. But I hope you've had a lovely day and I'm going to try and go to bed early as well because so it's very <sighs> it's too late for me all this and I keep having to go up at seven o'clock and I know that's not that early, but it is for me. Um, so yeah, seven hours of sleep is not enough. Hi friend. <laughs> Guys, I'm off to the baths, the Hackney sauna baths. What a day. I'm going into an ice bath. It's freezing. So mad. <laughs> so this is crab or mullet? Mullet. This <laughs> is. Hi everyone from Friday. I've done this backwards because I was so busy this morning I couldn't speak to you. Um, so I've shown you what I've been doing on the way. Um, this morning, first thing I was shooting, so you wouldn't see that anyway because it's boring and it's fast and my house is still upside down from all the clothes. Um, so that was fine and good and get, got all my work bits done. And then I went to Hackney Sauna Baths and had ice bath and sauna time with a friend of mine like a work colleague but friend as well and then we went for lunch um in hackney which was so gorgeous like a fish restaurant called i want to say cornerstone anyway it was lovely and i'm just back sorting everything out i'm gonna do a bit of packing um get all my stuff ready for costa rica i've got a huge pile and i was like i'm not taking loads this time well it's gonna be heavy as as, as far as it goes at the moment and I just need to get myself in gear because in an hour I've got to leave to go to dinner with Lizzie. We're going to Luca in um, Farringdon, I think it is. But we it's such a beautiful restaurant and they've just got a Michelin star. And yeah, she had to make the reservation ages ago. So I am buzzing for that, but I'm not actually hungry yet. So I'm willing the hunger to come. Um, and then I really like, yeah, that's it. So I'm probably going to have a glass of wine, which I'm really looking forward to actually. And then just a really nice weekend. Hopefully I can get off the wait list for Pilates because I booked it too bloody late. And um, catch up with everybody, do a bit more packing, tidying, get lots of sleep, ready for my trip on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at really. I've had a busy day, bloody hell. It's, it's five o'clock. I don't know how it's got to that. Yeah, I'm going to just do some more tidying and try and pack a little bit for Costa Rica so it's not like one big job because it's just boring. As much as it's gorgeous to go away, I don't enjoy packing at all. So that's it. I maybe I'll, I'll jump back on and show you what I'm wearing in a bit. Got a really nice top from Marquette actually, that I hope looks nice on, even though it looks nice off. Hi guys, I'm ready. I'm ready for my girl dinner night with Lizzie. So I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. Um, okay, so I have got on an Arquette, like baby blue ribbed, skinny knit with a boat neck which I love a boat neck there's nobody a boat neck doesn't look good on um I put a bra on because it's a bit see-through but I really like it I think it looks really nice um and I've got just some high-waisted vintage Wrangler jeans on really super long ones and then I've just got my trusty reformation like thong sandals and like a zebra print you probably can't see the usual here that's my full look Hi, and then I'm gonna put on my Whistles bonded leather jacket, but like the long version. I've got the short version, but the long version is amazing. Um, I also have like a snake print one, which is so gorgeous. Um, so this, and then I need to wear it in a bit. It's like gorgeous and bonded, but I feel like it could be like more worn because the one that I've got that's short in this is, has worn 
beautifully it's like butter now um and then my trusty dior bag from vinted um that i just wear every single day because it is so good um and that is me ready for girl dinner i did a full um face of merit makeup which is basically what i do every day now um it's just the absolute best i've just used a new lipstick if i put it in here yes so they've got two couple new shades out of lipstick and this one is called oh my god anti bees anti bees anyway it is so gorgeous look at the shade i've got it on now as well it's so amazing oh my god i just love merit it's just a oh, it's just so fuss free you can put it all on with your hands as well it's brilliant so yeah that is my finished look guys <laughs> i feel like such a youtuber <laughs> so i'm gonna go and get the bus i've been really enjoying the bus recently me and lizzie were having this conversation the other day I spent this money on taxis and on like ubers here and there they're unreliable they're all crap drivers <laughs> and it costs a bloody fortune do you know how much the bus is in london £1.70. And my friend told me the day before yesterday, if you get another bus within the hour, the second bus is free. I have been seeing some things in London. I've been touring the bus routes. It has been an absolute pleasure. Just not really at night time because it's a bit sus. But daytimes, oh my God, yes. And up to like, I feel like the watershed for me, I got one at 10 o'clock the other night and I was probably on the cusp of not wanting to get that bus. I reckon up to about eight, nine o'clock. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So yeah, I'm going to get the bus um, and go for this gorgeous dinner, which I cannot wait for now. I'm getting a bit hungry as well. And I just really want a margarita, actually. I've decided not wine. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll show you the restaurant when I get there. When I get there. And yeah, I'll probably catch up with you properly tomorrow now. Bye. <laughs> She is so beautiful. Look at my date. My forever date. Cheers. Cheers. Hi guys. I'm a very busy day today. Very happy girl. I just had to shower and wash my hair. Um, I just had the most gorgeous dinner with Lizzie. It was so nice. We went to Luca in um, on St John Street in Clerkenwell. Is it Clerkenwell? Farringdon. Clerkenwell. And it was just so good. Like, they got a Michelin star like I don't know, I want to say last week, but definitely wasn't, like maybe a year or more ago. And it's really hard to get in there. It's such a beautiful Italian restaurant. Honestly, it's so special. Um, the staff are so attentive, a little bit too attentive. You know, when you're really in a conversation every two minutes. Do you need this? Do you need that? Do you want it? We were like, <laughs> please just leave us and make us wait. <laughs> but it was really, really nice. We had a good catch up and I mean, catch up, see you every day. But, you know, these things arise overnight. You never know. Um, but it was really lovely and so yeah i've come home had a shower washed my hair got all the house ready packed a load of stuff for costa rica got all that sorted um and yeah i've just been sat booking some pilates at uh, studio anatomy i'm going to do some fluid form tomorrow in the house but then on sunday i'll go to a class a reformer class just at studio anatomy where i love to go in london fields um and that's it really i'm going to try and have a reasonable early night it's five to ten and I just can't sleep until like midnight. It's cr I don't know why. So I think I'm going to watch The Lovers by Reunion. Maybe The Vampire Diaries. Let's just see how I feel. And uh, then go to sleep. And I don't have to set an alarm tomorrow, which is just so nice. We're very lucky for that because I've been up early every single day because I've been up and out. Um, yeah, so all good. And for the person that really liked my red tie-dye tie t-shirt from last week's vlog, it's my Backstreet Boys merch t-shirt that me and my best friend got at the concert last year. I wish I'd have bought them in bulk. I should have bought, I should have bought so many more. I sleep in it all the time. It's my favourite thing. I just don't know if I'll be able to get one. Maybe I'll have to hunt on eBay or something. We'll just continue to go and see them on tour forevermore, which is a really good option. I probably would do that anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys are good and that you've had a lovely day. It's Friday, like I said, and I'm just going to have a weekend with the girls. Kim's going to be here. Um, Pilates, sleeping, a bit more packing, and that's it. Just can't wait to go to Costa Rica. Um, but yeah, I'll catch up with you tomorrow, and yeah, um, have a nice night. Good morning, everybody. 
It's Saturday morning. Well, I had a bad night. Like, I was up in the night a lot. I was not very well. And it was about three o'clock this morning when I got to sleep. So I slept from then until like nine. And I feel fine now. But just one of those things. Um, I had eaten something that did not agree with me. <laughs> so let's just say that. Um, and I'm very happy to report that I'm fine now because I'm going to a lunch with the girls today. For one of our friends has got engaged recently. And we've not seen her to catch up since she's got back so we're all just going to go make a big fuss and go to Dalla in East London uh, which I think is Italian another Italian I can do it I can do it um last night's dinner I said to you last night it was so nice of Lizzie as always um and so I'm just coming on to show you my outfit so this jacket I'm absolutely obsessed with it's from Whistles it's like um a suede western one but I really like it because it's got this like panel here I just think it's so cool and it's like a light jacket because the flipping sun's out the sun's only going to come out <laughs> And then um, I showed you this shirt the other day from Arquette, which is big sleeves, just nice pink stripe. Um, and it just feels a bit boyish, which I obviously love. And then silver leg jeans, which I always wear, which are just like a bit wide leg. They need an iron, but I haven't got time for that. And then my AD boots. So yeah, I'm feeling good and happy. And um, yeah, excited to see everybody and just have a nice little afternoon cocktail maybe it's Saturday isn't it and I've got a mani-pedi in a bit because oh what's that in my pocket I've got a mani-pedi in a bit because I'm going on Tuesday I don't know if I didn't mention that um but I need to get my nails and my feet sorted out for a month of surfing so I'm going to do that and then maybe I, I might go out tonight actually because I've pretty much packed so yeah maybe um I'll take you along where I can today um, but yeah, I think it's just gonna be a lot of girl chat, so maybe, maybe not coming on for that, but we'll see. But yes, I will speak to you in a bit. I'm jumping back on to show you my new sunglasses because I'm only buying things that I need for Costa Rica. I need one, you know, um, but I really love these Mew Mew sunglasses and they're just, oh, they're so nice to look for. Everything is rose coloured, um, but I really love them. I think they're really, really nice and can't wait to wear them when I get away. So I'm going to wear them today because it's very sunny in London, which is just honestly heaven. Um, so yeah, I'm just showing you these and I'll put them on as a link. I think they were like £300, £280 or something. But I wear the same pair of black sunglasses every single day. And I was like, oh, these are fun. Like, let's, let's invest in something that feels fun with all my like swimwear and stuff like that. So yeah. <sighs> It's warm in here. Is my heating on? I'll just check. Bye. Hi everyone. It's Sunday today, and yesterday I went out for a gorgeous lunch with the girls to celebrate a friend's engagement. We went to Dalla in Hackney, and the food was unbelievable. It was so good, honestly. Like, I can't wait to go back. Um, and we had a couple of drinks, and then I need to go and get a mani pedi ready for Costa Rica on Tuesday. So then I had a break and everyone went to the pub. So now I was like, I want to go to the pub. So, and it was really good in the, ah, really good in the pub, sorry. Really good in the pub yesterday because um, there was loads of footy on. So it was just really busy. Not like I care about footy, but everyone was just in nice spirits. It was really packed and it was really nice. So I hung out with loads of friends in, in the pub until maybe like half 10 or something. I just was drinking pints and I thought I'd got away with it because I was probably asleep for midnight. And it's now quarter past one. I was up at like eight, went for breakfast with my friends, went to the shopping centre at Westfield and got some last bits from Boots for the trip. And now I feel sick. I thought I'd got away with it, but I haven't. So I think I'm just gonna get a cup of tea and lie on the sofa for a little bit. Cause it's Sunday after all, but I was like, oh. But I haven't had a drink drinking so long and I just had the most fun. It was so nice just to drink and like chill with everyone. And yeah, it was really fun, but I feel really sick now. I just had to cut that clip then because I swore. And it, I, yeah, and I will have been blocked from YouTube forever. <laughs> Forgot myself for a minute. Um, so yeah, that's my plan. And I might go meet Lizzie um, at the pub later for a Guinness, because it's St. Paddy's Day today. So I think I can manage a Guinness. I know I feel rough, but do you know what? Sometimes hair of the dog and maybe I'll get a roast dinner as well, but. We will see. Um, tomorrow is going to just be a day of packing and sorting and getting ready because I fly on Tuesday morning and I'm going out with the girls, Lizzie and Kim, in the evening um, to have one last catch up and cuddle before I go. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll make my last day of vlogging tomorrow um, ready for Wednesday. 
and yeah, the next time I'll see you after this will be in Costa Rica. So I'm excited to take you along. Uh, I'll do as much as I can. Um, and yeah, I need to still go through it. Like I half went through my case yesterday or the day before and it's still pretty full, it's still heavy. I'm like, I was really supposed to cut back and I've just bought more cosmetics that I, I need, need to take, but I do really. Um, I think I'm gonna have to cut it again. And I just wanna also get some semblance of order in this flat because I've got help with packing and moving when I get back, but it, everything's just everywhere. And I, But maybe actually, I'll just do it when I get home. I've got a week before I move out, when I get back from Costa Rica, so anyway, yeah. That's where I'm at today. A small, small hangover, tiny hangover, and a nap incoming. And that is it. That is it. Well, I hope you've had a lovely weekend, everyone. It's absolutely chucking it down here. Um, but yes, I will catch up with you probably tomorrow now, unless anything happens, <sighs> which I, I don't think it will today. But yeah, bye bye. Good morning, everyone. It's Monday. I am up and out. Well, not up, up. I had a lion this morning, which I really needed. I'm off to Reformer Pilates and I cannot wait. I've not moved my body in the Reformer class for like a week and it, I really feel it. So I bet I can't walk tomorrow, which is fine because I'll be on a plane. <laughs> um, so yeah, just a lot of pottering, packing and like final bits, like being very grown up and decanting like my full-size cosmetics into my small little tiny travel ones. I'm hoping that'll last a month, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for tomorrow. I had FaceTimes with all my girls in Costa Rica yesterday and we're just, I just, we can't be, wait to be reunited. And the girl, let, me and one of my friends, Kerry, rented a house for the time that we're, I'm going to be back there. And it's just unbelievable. Like our bedrooms open onto this beautiful terrace that is just full of butterfly trees um it's just crazy so every day like there's just loads of like orange and yellow butterflies everywhere and I was like oh I can't wait anyway um I also really quickly want to tell you about this hoodie from Lululemon I've worked with them quite a bit because of obviously all my uh like exercise bits and it's just the stuff that I throw I'm in full Lululemon actually but this is from like their new matching sets it's like it it's so soft. It's like a bit croppy. I'm going to show you properly in the mirror because it's so nice. It's such a good hood as well. There we go. Um, so I've just chucked my coat on the top of it, but it's like cropped, lovely zip, such a nice big hood. And it's so lovely and cosy, but not too hot. I'm like really impressed with it. And obviously it's red and just looks nice um, as a pop of colour under everything. Leggings are also Lululemon. Um, they are like, I'll show you. They're like a, a really soft rib, which I love. And like waist-wise, they're like a mid-waist. So not super high waist, but like they're a good level. They don't fall down. So I'll link both of those um, for you because I wear them so often um, and really vouch for them. Like I can't stand it when leggings fall down during classes and stuff and you're like, whoop, gotta hike them all up. Um, and I'll link this uh, hoodie as well because it's new out part of like matching sets. You get matching trackies as well. So yeah, um, <clears throat> but I'll catch up with you later. I probably won't have a lot to talk about today, but maybe I can, talk, I can I'll pack with you later. That's what I'll do, we'll pack. Oh, hi guys, I'm back from Pilates and it was so lovely. It was very sweaty, very hot, but I loved it. And so you join me at a point where I'm trying to pack my suitcase for this trip. And honestly, I swear to God, last time I was so overweight, I had to pay so much in extra baggage at every single flight, every single point of the trip. You know, me just like, okay, fine, just take it, it's fine. Like, I thought they were gonna make me throw my stuff away, to be fair, so it was actually good. And I'd gotten like a little pile of stuff that I wasn't attached to, and I was like, it's just stuff, like ready to just be like, yes, take that out. And it was fine, I just had to pay to get it there. But there's no point, like I barely wore anything except bikinis and little mini skirts and big shirts, that's it. Like, and I had like a couple nights out. So I've got a couple of things, like I've got this acne dress that I've had for ages now that's just like, mini and little, so that's perfect with sandals. I've got loads of little sarongs this time. I've got this totem one um, that is really beautiful and it can be made into like a mini, quite sheer skirt. So I can just waz that on after surfing um, to like go and sit in the co-working spaces and like have breakfast and things. And just, yeah, I've been, I've tried to be really, really like hard work, like hard about it. 
and then I am so excited to just wear all my new surf gear like I've got bikinis but when you wear them all the time in the water they get really baggy and because I don't know what it is in Costa Rica but I couldn't find a washing machine that was decent so nothing was like really washed properly it was all a bit grubby um so I've got loads of new swim to take and Negnata who are like one of my uh, just favorite brands I bought a sarong and I bought uh, a two like beautiful like woven two piece from them and then they really kindly offered to send me their new surf set and I was like oh my god yes because Laura the founder surfs as well so it's like surf shorts that are like two colors and then this cool top to match and it fits so well it's like you just want to be contained you just you don't want your boobs to be falling out you don't want your vagina to be falling out during surf and it often does if it's not tight enough and it's so annoying because you're so concerned about flashing everyone that you can't concentrate so like good surf wear is the best this i'm so excited to wear as well this is from the free people free people movement side and i'm working with them this year and i just love them like oh god they're just so good and um they make really amazing supportive um workout gear and also surf wear like look at this surf suit I'm so buzzing to wear that. It fits beautifully as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just, <laughs> it's a tip. You can see here, it's a tip. But I've got loads of loads of really nice stuff I'm looking forward to wearing that all feels like very much me. That's yeah, it just feels nice. I know that I can open my suitcase and be like, yep, yep, and not stress over what I'm wearing because it's just the boring. Um, I bought from Boots these little, um, travel this little travel set so i can decant all my stuff in like i was saying before so i think i'm gonna head to the bathroom now and do that and just fill it all up with the bits that i need um so it's just cosmetics electronics my electronics again this little silicon um this neoprene bag so i've got my film camera in here i've got six rolls of film i've got like a tripod and um sorry uh a clicker for any if i have to do any content and i'm on my own um my adapters and then i've also i'm going to put some surf wax in there as well because it'll be safe because i'm going to start going more on my own surfing now um i need to take my own wax whereas when i go with the team they've all got all got wax with them all the time so i'm gonna to have to be a big girl and take my own wax my own board but yeah i think i'm gonna go out with the team a couple times before i start going on my own um but i'm so excited because tomorrow like i'll be in costa rica oh it's crazy i yeah I um, oh, just can't wait. Um, I think that's it, really. Uh, do you know what I struggled with on that trip? Not, not struggled with, but the thing that was a bit annoying to me was my hair because it was just wet and just, just like flat the whole time, even though it had sea salt in it. So I've got this really good, like it's called Johnny's Chop Shop texturizing spray, and also a really good L'Oreal Pro one. Um, that I can put in when I get out of the water and then I don't have to like worry about it because it just looks like this all the time which is just so flat um because it's just so fine so yeah got some texturizing stuff so I'll be living my best hair life at least when I get there um but yeah I think that's it for today really I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog now crack on with this because otherwise I'll talk to you all day and then yeah I've got a call at like three o'clock gonna have some food and then I'm with the girls this evening to have a big cuddle before I go um and that's it a really nice day so if I just put my mind to it I can get all this rattled off in an hour I'm sure but thank you all so much for watching as usual and for sticking with me and the next time I see you I will be in Costa Rica which I'm very excited to show you because it's like I always say very magic very special um but yes thank you so much guys and I will see you next week and have a lovely week as well